Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. I'm Brian. This is Dave. And we still do the research so that you don't gotta. Whoop whoop! So today we have an interesting topic for you all at home. Something you might not really have thought about. How to keep clowns away. I really kinda hate clowns. But I thought you were like the world's biggest insane clown posse fan. Don't try to figure old Dave out. Don't, don't be talking smack about my clowns. They're, they're different. But, okay, you know what? Never mind. All right, today's topic is increasing your bone density. Yeah, B, that's a good one, too. Makes it harder for party clowns to snap your shit up. As we age, our bone density steadily begins to diminish. This is because we begin to lose bone faster than our bodies can grow them. This can lead to bones that are more easily broken as you get older. That's why your granny falls out of bed and breaks her hip all the time. It's not your grandma that's the problem, it's science and gravity working together to kill your grandma. Don't let that shit happen. Keep your grandma safe. There are certain things in life that can't be avoided with today's technology. While you age, like the, the slowing of your cell division, natural wrinkles and such, but there are things that you can do to minimize bone loss. This is also for all those bodybuilders out there who are trying to avoid injuries, like fractures and cracked skulls and shit. Like with anything else, your body needs certain nutritions to feed into your skeletal structure, just like you feed your muscle. Yeah, you can take calcium supplements mixed with vitamin D to help build them skeletal looking bitches up. Drinking milk is a good source of calcium too, especially straight from the titties. The main topic to help build your bone density or rebuild bone density, if you've already lost some with age, will be related to exercise. But B, won't exercising with brittle bones turn you into a powdered old fogey under the bench press? No, Dave. There are lots of ways through exercise that can improve your bone mass and help you decrease the risk of osteoporosis as you age. Yeah, so to our fans who don't speak B, that means broken grandma hips from falling out to bed or maybe a little too much action at the senior center if you know what I mean. What, Viagra, dog? Uh, you need to get out more, Dave. But that's what... Never mind. Uh, let's move on. Yeah, let's. Strong bones can help in avoiding back pain and stiffness in joints, amongst other things. My first bit of advice is to get moving. Yeah, bones are made for weight bearing. If you just sit on your fat ass all day eating cheeseburgers, your couch is going to do most of the weight bearing, and I'm sure we're going to get to the episode about how to make your wood more weight bearing, but this ain't it. Yeah. You can host that particular episode on your own, Dave. Oh, yeah. Just look me up on RedTube. I already got plenty of movies about how to make my wood hard. Booyah! Okay, the next tip that people will want to hear, uh, pay attention to your gait. Why is that? You gonna leave bone supplements at the door, B? Because I'll scoop that shit up. No, no, not that gait. You know, your gait, you know, your stride when you walk. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, being light-footed can actually diminish the productivity of your spine. Okay, I got you. When you step down, your foot vibrates like that Jurassic Park shit with the water glass. And the less impact you get, the weaker your bone's gonna be. Exactly right, Dave. You get a cookie. Oh, fuck yeah, where's my cookie at? Some Oreos? Chips Ahoy. Dude, dude, give me, um... Oh, what's that fucking cookie called? The... Uh, I don't remember the name. There is no real cookie, Dave. Fucking with me again. You see, footwear like heels and even some smart foam sneakers reduce the impact of the ground so much your spine begins to decrease functionality. Snickerdoodles! Yo, Snickerdoodles, <laughs> B! You, we don't like Snickerdoodles? There are no Snickerdoodles. I quit. I'm done with this show. I ain't no Snickerdoodles in this piece. I've been eating good all week. I deserve a goddamn snickerdoodle. Alright! So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, every so often, you should wear some flat-ass shoes. Or just go barefoot for a while if it keeps your spine healthy. I know it's hard to stay out of those high heels. They make the calves look very attractive. But you gotta put them down. One time I saw you wearing those high heels. And... They was giving me blisters. Move on. Uh... Also, besides generally moving more and walking around, you should actually move in new ways. 
Try yoga, or maybe some new stretching techniques to keep your bone porous and concrete strong. Oh yeah, I got the best tip ever. Oh? Lift them heavy ass weights. The lifting weight will increase your bone size, and the bigger boned you are, the less likely you are to get osteoalma hip. The dumbbells is like magic. It's true. Lifting moderate weight will cause a reaction in your nervous system that not only anabolically builds muscle, it also begins to thicken your bone mass as well. So take your vitamins, say your prayers, and start pushing some heavy ass weights. All of the things in life we must put up with during aging, bone loss doesn't have to be one of them. Thanks for watching another episode of Blade Clan Health and Fitness. We keep our bone mass so you can too. Whoop whoop!